The name Sam. I was riding high in those days. Real high. Nothing could hurt me. Life? No sweat. As long as I stayed high, there's nothing that bothered me. Yeah, I was riding high. Little did I know then what was in store for me. I was in for quite a ride. Mom? Sorry I didn't call last night. I spent the night at Frankie's. Fell asleep playing video games. You know how it goes. Come on in here, son. Samuel Nighthorse, you're under arrest for suspicion of grand theft. Come place on, your, what Go ahead and turn around, place your hands behind your back. What, what did I steal? You know that bike out there? It doesn't belong to you. Yeah, well sure, I just borrowed it to ride up here. Well, that's not what the owner said. That's what grand theft. But it ain't even that grand of a bike. Well, that's what we're going with. Anything else on you need to know about? Nope. What's this? Bust. You're gonna be arrested for suspicion of theft and illegal substances. Go ahead, start walking out the door. Understand your Miranda rights? You have the right to remain silent. Anything say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Samuel Nighthorse. You've been found guilty of possession of illegal substances and of being under the influence of those substances in public, along with the conviction of grand theft. Do you have anything you want to say for yourself before I pronounce sentence? Go easy on me, Judge. I'm just a kid. Mr. Nighthorse, can you sit up straight? Can you pull your hood back? Straight, please. Thank you. You say you're just a kid, but you're old enough to have committed these crimes and old enough to be punished for them. With your attitude, I'm tempted to send you over to jail right now. But the nation has not given up on you. The wellness court has arranged for treatment for you at a place called the Healing Lodge of the Seven Nations in Spokane Valley. Based upon that arrangement, I am going to sentence you to that institution for a period of 90 days. Listen carefully to me, Mr. Nighthorse. You will take full advantage of this opportunity to turn your life around. If you don't, you will be remanded to this court and you will receive a very long jail sentence from me for the crimes you've committed against this nation. So take this opportunity of a second chance to turn your life around. Now, before you go, I understand that President Sharp has something she wishes to say to you. Thank you, Your Honor, for this opportunity to say a few words. Sam, your nation cares about you. I've asked the court to address you. I want to see you, Sam, take full advantage of the Healing Lodge because that path and that crossroad where I see you right now, I've seen far too many young people take the wrong path. And I've been to far too many funerals where I see kids your age and younger die, where I've seen loss of life. I've seen families suffer and I don't want that for your family because I know how much your family and this nation cares about you. The other path and the choice that you can make at the Healing Lodge is one in which you'll go down that path not alone, but you'll have a family with you, you'll have a tribe supporting you, and you'll have some incredible people at the Healing Lodge there with you every step of the way. I have personally have been through the Healing Lodge. I've met the kids, I've met the staff, you're going to a wonderful place, and I will be praying for you every day. You have a chance. The judge this morning, he could have sent you to jail. You were this close from losing your life, and you're at that crossroad right now. You have your family, your mom, your grandmother, your aunties, your uncles, your cousins. We all want you to succeed. 
This nation will be waiting for you. Your future is waiting for you. You'll be on that right path. Thank you, Your Honor. Place your hands behind your back. When Sam first came, he was like many of the young people that we receive here at the Healing Lodge. He was strung out, like most kids are when we first see them. He was nervous, insecure, and confused. So I'll be his primary counselor here. When but like all boys and girls here at the Lodge, there was also a spark in him. A spark of life just waiting to be kindled and fanned and brought to the surface. We knew we could help him, but it would take some time and some patience. He was accustomed to having places to hide if he needed to, and let his boyish charm and his substance abuse mark his emotional stress. Here at the lodge, he couldn't do that. He wasn't going to get any drugs or alcohol, and it was like losing a very close friend he'd come to rely on. It's never easy for the kids, but we have good, professional, and compassionate people here who have the skills to help them make it. This place is no piece of cake after all. The people who run this place are pretty cool, but this quitting cold turkey sh** is for the birds. Those first few days at the lodge were the toughest days of my life. What was wrong with these people? Why didn't they just give me a Percocet or Oxycontin? A little Vicodin? That's all I needed to calm me down. Then I could handle my time in this place, no problem. I mean, what the hell did they care? It's my life. Hey Sam. Hey buddy, how you doing? So what we're gonna have you do is just kind of rest. Take really good care of yourself. You know, then pretty soon in a couple of days you'll be able to go out, get to go play basketball, might even be able to start writing some music and recording a song. Recording a song? Yeah. It's my life, it's my life, it's my life. My life. Nothing like a fairy tale. Something like a nightmare. I know that right there, bro. So much to switch in dimensions, I continue to fail. But my life's spinning, it's spinning like a Ferris wheel. My life. How bad was that? It was pretty, pretty horrible. I figured, I figured. No, no, man, I'm joking. That was awesome, Sam. Great job, brother. Great job. Yeah, that really? was awesome. Yeah. Man, I never knew I could do something like this. Man, you could do anything you put your mind to, bro. Someone else once told me that. I guess I just wasn't quite ready to hear it. Well, you need to hear it. Thank you. People like Sam aren't delinquents. They are addicted youth who have lost their way in life. They don't need to be locked up with hardened criminals. They need to have an opportunity to find their way, to gain an identity, to learn self-respect, team spirit, and accountability. The Healing Lodge of the Seven Nations has helped young people, particularly those from Native American tribes from across the country, find healthy new pathways in life for more than a quarter of a century. By blending traditional tribal approaches with the state-of-the-art intensive learning strategies, we have found a winning combination. Those who go through other treatment programs relapse at a rate of 90%. The Healing Lodge's relapse rate is just 23%, and we improve on that every year. For Indian children, one of the key reasons for our success has been our link with tribal history and culture. Connecting with the traditional values and historic lessons of their tribes helps them gain a foothold in life and develop a foundation to build upon.
Time and again, Indians who find happiness in the modern world and a vision for the future are the ones who are connected to their heritage. Much like the trees, the deeper the roots go, the taller and stronger they grow. As Sam returns from his rite of passage ceremony, he's cheered on by his peers with great enthusiasm. He has taken a big step towards manhood. He has been sober and clean for three months. He knows who he is and what he wants to achieve in life. Hey. <laughs> Sam Nyquist, oh my God, you feel so good. We're so proud of you. you. Does it feel good to be able to go home now? Yeah. Yay. Really all right, so we have a special gift for you. We okay. like to give this to all of the residents when they get ready to go home. Right on. But this is symbolic of us. So this is our way of embracing you, holding you, no, no, remember no, us, no, okay? Thank you. You bet. We're gonna miss everybody. Oh, we're gonna miss you too. So you've done it with us up to this point. Now you're on your own. Okay. And you're gonna go out there. We know that you're gonna do fine, all right? All right, thank you. you thank care. you, guys. Okay. And thank you. Mom, I'm really gonna do this. And I want you to be proud of me. I know you will. If you could save a life, would you? How about a thousand? Alcohol and drug abuse have stolen the lives of thousands of young American Indians. Addiction affects their young lives at three times the national average. The Healing Lodge of the Seven Nations in Spokane is helping these young people and adolescents of all backgrounds find themselves again. Each and every one of them is worth it. Help us help them. Learn how by visiting HealingLodge.org today. If you could save a life, would you? How about a thousand? Alcohol and drug abuse have stolen the lives of thousands of young American Indians. Addiction affects their young lives at three times the national average. The Healing Lodge of the Seven Nations in Spokane is helping these young people and adolescents of all backgrounds find themselves again. Each and every one of them is worth it. Help us help them. Learn how by visiting HealingLodge.org today.